Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be discussing what's more efficient, having your windows up, windows down, AC on full with your windows up, or heat on full with your windows up. Now I previously made a video comparing your AC on full to the windows down, uh, and what I basically concluded from that, and I'll include a link to that video in the video description, uh, was that you know if you're going below 60 miles per hour, it looks like the AC is going to have a, more of a power draw, and then above 60 miles per hour, maybe you're going to have a power draw from drag, uh, from the aerodynamics of the car from having the windows down. So basically if you're in the city, you know, use your windows down. If you're on the highway, uh, have your windows up and turn the AC on. Now, many of you rightfully called me out and said, wait a minute, you don't have a control. And I absolutely should have in included a control and I did not. So I'm trying to regain your trust here with this video. Uh, basically what I'm gonna be including is the control run with the windows up. And then also as a bonus, just for fun, uh, I put the heat on full and did some test runs with that as well. So first let's go ahead and check out the fourth gear highway pull. Uh, we're gonna be going from 30 to 70 miles per hour and then break this up into time intervals to compare it to our other scenarios. So let's go ahead and check out uh, the highway pull with the windows up. results we can take the average from each of those three runs uh, from the different mile per hour intervals 30 to 40 40 to 50 50 to 60 and 60 to 70 uh, and in doing so we realize something a bit surprising actually and that's that there isn't that much aerodynamic difference between having the windows up and windows down during these uh, different speed intervals in fact from 30 to 40 they were exactly the same from 40 to 50 it was almost identical from 50 to 60 it was slightly faster to have the windows up uh, but you know this could be a slight error in just my driving alone uh, and then from 60 to 70 once again they were almost identical so the negative aerodynamic impacts on this car may not be until you know 70 to 80 or 80 to 90 from having the windows down where this increases the drag on the car so that's an interesting thing uh, and certainly not something that I totally expected from the beginning now looking at the AC on full one of the things this is telling us and many people commented this in the previous video is that you know some cars have the AC shut off at wide open throttle some cars will have the AC compressor shut off uh, depending on what RPM you're at and so what it's looking like here is that the AC is actually shutting off at around 60 miles per hour and the reason I say that is because you can see having the AC on versus the windows up and having the AC on versus the windows down you can see there's not much difference on the acceleration so it's not necessarily drag that's causing uh, the difference between these two uh, it's probably the fact that the AC is on or the AC is off and so around 60 miles per hour is where my car is hitting about 3500 rpm so it's looking like at around 3500 rpm the Integra shuts off the AC compressor uh, and then you're just going for full power since you're at wide open throttle uh, and because of that I was seeing a result that showed you know better acceleration uh, for this interval versus um, having the windows down. So I also here we have the windows down versus windows up percent difference and as you can see it's nearly identical except for this 50 to 60 mile per hour where it is slightly faster to have your windows up uh, which makes sense from an aerodynamic point of view but because this is higher than this number right here I don't really think that's that valid of a point. Um, so I'm going to be trying some other methods in the future of you know getting data uh, using data logging and things like that so I can try and get more accurate results and also you know make sure that that my run is very repeatable but it looks like what's happening here is that it's nearly identical windows up windows down uh, for these different speed intervals and it's probably not until a later speed at which you know you start to have negative consequences from drag now that said cars that have more windows like a big SUV that has four windows that you're gonna roll down that's gonna have more of an impact 
on the drag on that vehicle than my small little two-door that has two windows that slide down and it's the tiny little vehicle that's pretty aerodynamic from the start. So, you know, it, it is vehicle dependent and I think the conclusion would still hold that, you know, if you're going around 70 or faster, uh, you probably don't want to be using your windows down all the way in these larger vehicles. You might be able to get away with it in smaller vehicles or just crack it um, versus, you know, if you're going at lower speeds, it makes sense to have the windows down and then you don't have these losses from the AC compressor running. So just for fun, let's take a look at a run with the heat on full. So there we have our results taking the averages uh, and basically I did a comparison of heat versus the windows up and as you can see these percent differences all hover around zero. This one's close to zero. This one's a little bit above negative uh, 0.5 percent and then the last one you know 1.12 percent faster to have the heat on than our control with just the windows up and no heat on at all. Uh, you know, kind of difficult to explain why there would be an oscillation, but I'm guessing this is all just from the testing itself. You know, there could be less uh, cooling requirement having the heat on. Basically, you are going to be cooling the engine. But, you know, the big takeaway that we get from this is that there's not a big impact from having your heat on like there is from having your AC on on accelerations. Here we have that 7% and here it's nearly 0%. So, you know... The takeaway is that AC is going to be draining power versus having your heat, which you're just taking energy from the coolant that's, you know, you're already heating up one way or the other. Basically, the only thing you're powering is those electrical fans to blow through that heater core. Uh, and so you're going to have a slight additional electric load on your car, but it's nothing like this mechanical running of the AC compressor. So overall, you know, heat has a minimal impact on your acceleration and your efficiency. So don't be worried about using that, you know, from an efficiency standpoint. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below.